Hello my friends and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food where I try to teach you how to eat with your dentures. I hope there's not too much light coming through this back window. Today's lesson is licorice. I have two different flavors here, black and red. Nothing in the bottom denture. And only denture fit in the top denture. Licorice is real good for practicing your bite. There's a lot of things you can use to practice your bite. Licorice, I find, is one of the best things because it doesn't stick to your dentures. Well, at least it doesn't stick to mine or my brother's or anybody else I know that eats licorice with dentures. I find it... You can't push or pull. Well, you can pull if you clench your teeth down. But I find that it's better to practice your bite on simpler foods without having to push on the denture, on the bottom denture, like I've shown in many videos. It teaches you to keep your teeth in the right orientation when biting. For example, Just like that. And you can practice chewing on either side or both sides. You can pull on licorice. I know some people that bite it over here and pull it apart. And if that's what works for you, then that's what you need to do. I personally find that even after five years with dentures, I'm still practicing in order to keep things in muscle memory and to keep things in techniques in my mind. Now, if you find it hard to just bite through it because your bottom denture is lifting, you can use your thumb to push on the bottom denture. If you keep your thumb close to where you're biting your licorice, you can literally just push on the bottom denture with your thumb. Like so. And nobody will be the wiser. We'll do a standard bite. Now I'll push on the denture with my thumb through my bottom lip, like so, like this. If you're just having a conversation with somebody, and I'll turn sideways here a little bit, if you're just having a conversation with somebody and you're eating a piece of licorice and you push on that bottom denture, you learn that technique and you get good at it, you, it just looks like you're eating licorice. It's that simple. And 
And once you learn that, and you learn where your bite's supposed to be, practice not pushing on your bottom denture with something like licorice. Now, I'm biting through that slowly because when I use, when I eat licorice, I use a couple of techniques at the same time. I keep my bottom teeth in the natural position, but not only that, once I know I've got it locked down, I pull just like I showed you with the beef jerky video. So for example, I go like this. Okay. You have to know that your teeth are locked in place and they're not going to pull out of your mouth. And that takes practice. And it takes time. Now I need to say something here. Going adhesive free is a challenge. It's difficult. It's not something you're going to master overnight. If you've been using adhesive for any length of time and you suddenly want to go adhesive free understand it's going to be frustrating. You're going to get aggravated. Your bottom denture is not going to want to cooperate until you train your mouth to make that denture cooperate. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. So I suggest if you're trying to go adhesive free and you're practicing with something like licorice, when it gets to the point that you're frustrated because techniques take time to learn. When it gets to the point where you're frustrated and you're ready to throw your dentures in the trash, put some adhesive in your dentures. Save yourself the frustration. Tomorrow's another day. You don't have to learn everything overnight. You don't have to learn everything all at once. I make these techniques look simple because I've been doing them for five years. Five years. And still today, there's things that I will try to eat that I have to recall a technique that I've used in the past that I haven't used in a while. Nothing is easy when it comes to dentures. I'm not going to lie to you. Now some people have really good ridges on the bottom, really deep dentures. I do not. It looks like I do, but I don't. Look at this. That's how deep my denture is in the front. That's it. Okay. My denture is not very deep in the front. I have hardly any ridge here at all in the front, which makes it difficult because when I go to pull on a denture, there's nothing really there to stop the denture from moving forward. And biting is also difficult because I had hardly have anything down here to push on. So I've trained my mouth, and I've talked about this in other videos, I've trained my mouth to press on the denture with my lip and my cheeks, and I'm exaggerating that amount of pressure just so you can see what I'm doing. I keep my tongue laying flat against the denture when I'm biting. 
so that I can push down on the back of my tongue to help hold that denture in place. These techniques take time. They take practice. Licorice is excellent to practice with. Doesn't make a mess in your mouth. Generally doesn't hurt if it gets under the denture. And you can practice the lockdown and pull technique so that once you've mastered that, you'll be able to eat things like jerky, uh, meat sticks, you know, like the Slim Jims and things like that that you have to be able to pull on. And like I said, if you want to do it on the side, you can do that. The issue I know most people have with that doing it on the side is you're putting pressure on this side which is allowing this side to break loose top or bottom or both so I find that doing it in the front with the teeth that are meant to bite with is a much better way to do it Remember, every technique you see in my videos takes time to learn. You're not going to miraculously go adhesive-free overnight. Now, if you've been getting soft relines from your dentist during your immediate denture process, and you haven't been using adhesive, and you're adhesive-free, just remember that it takes a little time. If you're using denture fit and you're wanting to go adhesive free, remember it takes time and practice. Denture fit does not hold like adhesive. Denture fit simply makes the denture fit better, fit more properly, but it's not adhesive and it won't hold like adhesive. It's an amazing product though. I've been using it in my top denture for almost four years. I don't have room for anything in the bottom denture because I have very little ridge holding the denture down here anything I put in it, even a paper thin layer, raises the denture up high enough that it allows it to slide off the gums. Sadly, denture fit will not work in my bottom denture. But I love it in my top denture. Now with that being said, remember these tips and tricks that I'm showing you in all of my videos take time, take practice. You can practice biting with just a piece of bread and learning to scissor your teeth, bottom teeth behind the front teeth, like they're supposed to be, like scissors. You can practice with just bread and then move up to something like toast and then move up again, once you get that down, move up again to something like a sandwich and then move up from there to say a sandwich with pickles you know, most of us have a hard time when we're first learning how to eat. We try to bite through a sandwich and we're good at eating sandwiches and we try to bite through it and we can't bite through the pickle. So we pull the sandwich away and the pickle slaps us in the chin. You can practice slowly. Take your time. 
if you get frustrated, you get aggravated, you get mad at yourself thinking you're doing something wrong. You're not. You're practicing. And practice makes perfect. Everything we do in life takes time. We have to learn. We have to practice. We have to take a break once in a while. Practice later. You're not going to master eating with your dentures overnight. And I know most of us want that normalcy. We want to look like everybody else when we're eating. And you can do that. If you and I were just sitting having a conversation and I was eating licorice, you wouldn't know I had dentures. By the way, I'm eating my licorice. And even if you did know I was wearing dentures, the assumption would be that I'm using adhesive. Because my dentures stay in place. I've had other denture wearers. For example, in a restaurant. That have seen me take my bottom denture out and wipe it off because I had something under it and I'd rinse my mouth and I'd put my denture back in. And they were brave enough to approach me and say, hey, what kind of adhesive are you using? I noticed you were eating chicken right off the bone. And it blows them away when I tell them I don't use any adhesive and I show them my bottom denture and you know, I go, no, I don't use adhesive, that's why I'm able to take it out wipe it off. But most denture wearers that are used to using adhesive assume when they see another denture wearer eating like this, they assume we're using adhesive. That's one of the reasons I show at the beginning of every video that I'm not using adhesive or anything in the bottom denture and that I only use denture fit in the top. I think there's too many videos of people out there showing what they can eat with their dentures that aren't giving you the whole truth. They're not telling you if they're using a product or if they're using adhesive. They're not telling you that. They're just showing you what they can eat and bragging about what they can eat with their dentures. And I think it's very important to be forthcoming in letting people know that this is a process. This takes time. There's a learning curve, so to speak. But once you figure it out, there's no better freedom. There's no better feeling than knowing that if something gets under your top denture or something gets under your bottom denture, you can run in the restroom. If you're in a restaurant, you can run in the rinse, restroom, rinse it real quick, put it back in, go right back to eating. You don't have to wait 10 or 15 minutes for that new adhesive to set up tight enough for to, be, for to be able to finish your meal. There's no better feeling. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you learned something. I hope you practice this technique. I hope that uh, you don't give up. I hope that you keep trying because trying is important. It's part of the learning process. I hope you don't get too frustrated. 
trying to learn how to go adhesive free. If you are using adhesive, remember the techniques that I teach in these videos will help keep that bottom denture staying longer without the adhesive coming loose. The reason the adhesive comes loose, I've said it before, is because we put undue pressure on that denture. We're constantly, that denture is constantly being lifted. Once it breaks loose in the back, there's nothing to stop it from breaking loose the rest of the way. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. I will see you in my next video.